गाइस दिस इज मालिंकी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल वॉइस ऑफ मालिंकी टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट वन वे वर्सेस टू वे एनोवा एंड इफ यू आर न्यू इन माय चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज डू लाइक कमेंट एंड शेयर माय वीडियो सो इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन हाउ एनोवा यूजेस एफ टेस्ट टू एस्टिमेट वेदर टू एक्सेप्ट और रिजेक्ट null hypothesis and we have also seen how to calculate the f value for one way anova so if you want to check the lecture link is in the description box today we will focus on two way anova and difference between one and two way anova in two way anova also we can calculate f test value to estimate whether to accept or reject null hypothesis so one way anova can determine whether the means of three or more groups are different or not so let's take an example first so here consider an agricultural field which is used for growing rice crop and the size of the field is 15 hectare so we will divide the field into 15 blocks so you can see block 1 block 2 block 3 like that we have divided the field into total 15 blocks like that in each block we will check rice yield now we are applying three types of crop nutrients say x y and z so these three nutrients are actually independent variables these three are independent variables since they are not dependent on anything and our mission is to check their effects on rice yield hence rice yield is the dependent variable it is the dependent variable which is dependent on the independent variable that is these three nutrients now these 15 blocks are divided into five groups group 1 group 2 group 3 group 4 and group 5 in each group we are considering three blocks like that and in each block we are applying different crop nutrient like in first block of any group we are applying nutrient x in second block of any group we are applying nutrient y in third block of any group we are applying nutrient z and the rice yield is expressed in kilogram per hectare so here we have five groups in each group we are applying same three nutrients now we can check the mean of rice yield in each group so you can take the mean of this group you can take the mean of this group you can take the mean of this group and you can take the mean of this group and you can take the mean of this group so we can take the mean of rice yield in each group and we can say whether difference is there or not between all these five groups so to do this we will use one way anova technique so what will be the null hypothesis the null hypothesis is there is no statistically significant difference in the mean weight of rice yield between the different groups under the independent variable that is the nutrient treatment here and what is the 
alternative hypothesis so the alternative hypothesis is there is a statistically significant difference in the mean weight of rice yield between the different groups under the independent variable that is the nutrient treatment here now let's talk about two way anova so a two way anova test is used to identify whether any statistically significant interaction between the two independent variables exists or not so let's take the same example but this time we are adding an extra factor here here we have two types of rice type a and type b that is the extra factor here that means here we have two independent variables so here we have two independent variables uh, one is nutrient treatment and the other one is rice variety and here we have again a single dependent variable that is the rice yield right so the rice yield is the dependent variable which is same just like the previous case so here we have two independent variables and a single dependent variable now in one way anova we had only one independent variable that is the nutrient treatment so that is the main difference between one and two way anova so here we are interested to know whether any interaction exists between the two independent variables or not in other words we can say whether the effect of rice variety that is type a or type b on crop yield is influenced by the nutrient treatment so this is our table here we have two types of rice variety that is extra in two way anova like that okay so what will be the null hypothesis so the null hypothesis is there is no statistically significant interaction between the two independent variables and what is the alternative hypothesis that is there is a statistically significant interaction between the two independent variables